Bum Wash, aka Booty Cleaner, aka Avant Garde Post Poo Routine, aka your new Bot Buddy. It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yo, what up, y'all? Welcome to Boxing Day. I have no idea what it's like where you're at, but where I'm at, it's in lockdown mode, and I would imagine it's similar where you are too. Uh, not much is open, everything's chilling, and uh, I was a little hung because I got a little sauce with the fam jam last night, but I was lucky enough to have, you know, some provisions from my favorite doctor, and that doctor is right here as follows. <laughs> doctor Etker, Otker, this guy, chef doctor. Um, I can't recommend this product enough. It is the best like frozen pie I've ever had in my life, I feel like. So if you've never had one of these, get one because they're amazing. This is the Supreme version. Um, I had a pepperoni one the other day. So we're trying this one. We'll see how it is. But she's uncut right now. You can have a little look ski here. See, oh, she's dripping juices from those. It's dripping juices. Nice crusty bottom, nice top piece. Really good crust for a, a, a frozen pie, but I gotta cut it up here. I did add a little extra cheese myself as well. But uh, hopefully this is a delicious adventure we can have together. As you can hear though, that crust, you know, it's popping. It's doing the most. All right, let's bring in what we need, the quintessentials. We got the Runny Ranch. We got our Pepperoncino. <laughs> Genies, of course. And a nice Diet Pepsi to pour. Pizza's a little bit in the way. Sorry, I don't want to move it. Don't want to get things uh, too shook up around here. So we just do this. Nice little Diet P. Hope you guys all had a good Christmas, uh, having a good Boxing Day day, and then we're going to go into the new year here. Um, I personally am a little skeptical about this new year coming. I don't think things are going to all of a sudden just be better. <laughs> so uh, to those who are thinking 2021 is just going to be magically all good, I, I say strap on your life shorts because I think we're about to take a little more of a ride <laughs> okay I know it sucks I don't mean to burst the bubble be the bearer of bad news but you know I just don't I just don't see things going uh, hunky-dory anytime soon so that's my skepticism <laughs> but we'll see it's a tough time so I don't know if anything's even open today as far as like you can buy shit, but as per this whole situation, I would imagine the multi-billion dollar corpse are still allowed to be selling things on Boxing Day, would be my guess. Because thus far, everything else has been left open, so. Anyhow, a sip. Nice. All right. So like I said... This is a fantastic um, freezer pie, if you're going to get freezer pies ever. They're not that expensive. I think it was like three fifty for this pie. And they're just delicious. Mmm. Just their crust is legit, like. The sauce is delicious. Everything about it. Do be hitting. The 
the best part about it is that it's really hot. That's the one advantage of home pies. You get them while they're hot. And yes, I'm feeling a little sloppy right now. I'm starving. And that's the mild hangover. Doing this thing. Like this little, little baby pepperoncini. The perfect pepperoncini. I wish they were all like this, to be honest. Just a perfect little bite. Mm -hmm. Exactly. A couple things to note. I got this new beanie. It says Ungali from my stepbrother and his wife. I do like it a lot. It's thick, it's ribbed, it sits a little high. And I just wish, and I, I wish hat people would explain this to me, but the designers of hats, I like to wear it like Stegosaurus style. And I wish they would put the label, the patch, so that it could run Stegosaurus. But instead, they always design it so that it's like, when you go that way, it sits sideways like, like a weird crown. And uh, when you wear beanies like that, personally, I think you just look like a doofus. I don't know why that was ever the uh, the like right way to wear it, but. It always, without fail, they always patch it so it's, it sits like that where you have the wide top. Don't understand it. <laughs> I did have an amazing Christmas though. I love that it was chill low key, that I didn't have to like pop around to like many family houses and events. Like it was kind of amazing. I like that it was concentrated in one place with uh, just a few of the, you know, chill close people. Who you can really just vibe with have some proper cocktails and, you know, not be too in your head about am I the drunk guy at the Christmas event kind of thing, <laughs> you know? Because y'all know I'm probably that guy. <laughs> did clean up quite a bit for Christmas. I got some really good gifts. Everything was so adult. Definitely Christmas as an odd adult is looking a lot different, but all things I will use. But let me show you the one that I'm most excited about, about that I will use the most. while we're talking about cleaning up. And that is, da 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 da, a tushy. So what is a tushy you ask? Well, if you aren't in the know, bum wash 
aka booty cleaner aka avant-garde post poo routine aka your new butt buddy stop wiping your butt start white start washing with tushy got some testimonials on the side here i'm pretty sure you can eat off my butthole says suzanne who's a real pooping human and i'm not making this up that's right there for you so what it is is your own personal bidet that you hook up to your um, the back of the toilet tank like where the fresh water is and then it provides the pressure me and my sisters all got each other one I'm so excited to use it I can't wait I really hope it's as effective as people say it is and as effective as I want it to be because <laughs> I've wanted to use a bidet for like 15 years now. <laughs> privilege of that luxury I personally don't understand how they're not mandatory they just make sense like we wash our hands after doing anything And then literally the most vile act that comes from our body is met with like some dry, thin trees that you just smear around. <laughs> Baby wipes are key. It makes no sense. The traditional way. <laughs> but off that topic... <laughs> I uh, I also got a food processor, which is sick. I'm super hyped for that. I got a really dope frying pan, which I'm really excited to use for making uh, smash burger or burger episodes coming in. The new year it's flat so you can get the good angle on it with the camera and you can just see it's got a flat square pan and you can just like really see everything that's happening with the smashing of the patty and shit so hype for that i got a pressure washer Very unexpected gift. Awesome gift, though. Good for washing the truck. Outside of the house, outside of the garage and stuff, shed, whatever. Just keep that shit clean. Spraying off the deck. Like I said, very adult things, and I'm excited for them for some reason. <laughs> That's my clean freak OCD, though. I just love to make sure things are kept. if there's anything else that's like a standout thing um i think those are the main yeah those are the main main things i got uh, 
like plateware. Like a set of plateware. I don't know if I said that already. That's obviously going to come in handy. Mm, also, I got a wok. A Japanese wok. So that'll be clutch too. I still have yet to check, but if Best Buy is open, I'm fully debating picking up a TV for cheap. Like cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, but I don't know that it'll be open. I have to look and see. But I am in need of a TV. Not really for actual TV watching purposes, but for the plans I have for this scenario that you'll see down the road. It's essentially for the uh, podcast setup. I want to have it so there's like the front angle of me like sitting with like the mic and shit and then behind me over here will be a big enough TV to where like it's easily viewable for the person watching but kind of behind me, but then I'll have my laptop screen sharing to the TV. And then be, you know, accessing videos and <laughs> funny shit on the internet or shit I want to talk about on the internet. Just basically so that the viewer can have, ex like, just see the video and hear everything I'm, that, that I'm speaking on. Discussions, commentary, things of that nature. I'll switch up, you know, like a, like a once a week just way different style of format content. So I would be, if I'm going to scoop it for cheap, today is the day. So I have to commit. I don't really want to drop the money, but it's an investment in like, you know, growth or business or an idea or whatever like it, it's just an investment in myself moving forward in some different format so like i said though really really good store-bought pie highly suggest it try it out uh i'm hot a little hungover a little hurting and uh, i gotta go look into that prospect so until the next one you know what to do eat and live well stay true